Hello everybody, I'm a Spidey here, and today we're playing a game called Peter's House, a spooky box moving simulator. So, let's get started. Phone ring. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi Steve, this is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over to uh, tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Peter. Well, it's time to move some boxes. Left mouse interact, right mouse to release. This one says that it must go in the kitchen. Okay. Don't know where the kitchen is. Okay, anyways. A little, a, a tiny bit spooky. One more boxes, maybe in the wrong room. I can't leave yet. I need to move these boxes first. Oh, fine. Okay. This is a weird house. I don't know if this counts as a kitchen. I'm gonna assume not. That's obviously a bathroom. And here is a kitchen. Go keep moving boxes. So we can sprint in this game, um, which is interesting. Hopefully that's a good thing. In the dining room. Cool. In the bathroom. I don't have multiple hands to grab multiple boxes in the bathroom. Another bathroom box. Okay. Gotta keep moving boxes. The living room. In here. I don't know why this music just randomly started playing. That's interesting. The bedroom. Which one? I'm assuming this one. Yep. Keep moving. Dinning. <laughs> Uh, that spelling. Not gonna make fun of it though, it's whatever. Dining room, bedroom. A baby's bedroom. Okay. Well, it's nice for them to set the mood, play me some music while I'm here. <laughs> okay. This one doesn't say to place. Maybe I should open it? The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I'd done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it. Wow. But it was barking too loudly, and it was really starting to piss me off. And, and it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle... Oh boy. She couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. That's fucked, man. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded how powerful I am. Uh... Okay... I'm gonna ring... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. The living room. I'm gonna close this door. Can't have nobody sneaking in while I'm moving boxes. In the kitchen, okay. Ooh, we can open the fridge. I just really hurt for the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Oh boy. Is there going to be a dog in that fridge? Let's see where to place. Maybe I should open it. Oh, boy. 
The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had recovered my tracks. I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, seeing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. You are messed up, Peter. I'm gonna leave that there. This one says I must go in the kitchen. Sorry, the footsteps. I feel like... I feel like the, the player's footsteps got a lot, um, like, louder? It's pretty weird. This one says I must go in the baby's bedroom, so I thought something was afoot. All that work made me thirsty. I should go get a drink before I leave. Wait, hey, what about this box? Doesn't say where to place. Okay. Open it. Okay, is that blood on the knife? Yes. The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 1 I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied rather, that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious, but I knew I couldn't take any chances. I accused, I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead, I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his bag. He let on a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove, another person who didn't belong in my world. Wow. You are pretty messed up, Peter. Put on the uh, Venom suit, I see. I bet you won't mind if I take some orange juice. Okay. Time to go. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. Okay, Peter. Okay, Peter. Time to go. Oh. The same. Same. Uh, this room wasn't here before, I don't think. Uh, okay. Yes, very interesting. Oh boy. Oh. Awesome. Shit, the lights are out. I hope my I hope my phone's battery didn't die. Come on, come on. There, I can at least see where I'm going. Where is the phone? All the doors are unlocked though. The wait, the dining table's gone. Oh gosh. They stole the table. Okay. Okay, Peter. But 
Where is that phone? Must be in the kitchen. There's a gross smell from inside. I don't dare hope to open it. You know, I thought that the phone would be at least be in the kitchen. Is it in the bathroom? Is it really? Okay. Um... I don't like that. Okay. Huh. This door wasn't here before. This house is bigger than I thought. Okay. Door closed behind us. How nice. Oh boy. Oh, you are a Dick Peter. Okay, what if I don't answer it and I just go through this door, huh? What then? Okay, it's locked. Well, fine. Hello? What do you want from me? Your job was just to move the damn boxes, not to open them. Peter? Peter? Wait a minute, Peter. Hold on. Okay. Well, everybody, that was Peter's house. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.